again and welcome to another Morning Glory Bolt Action Battle Report. In today's episode, we find the British 8th Army, commanded by myself, taking on the armies of Italy, the Kingdom of Italy, commanded by none other than the High Admiral of the Salty Seas himself, Simon! There we go. This is our first Black Action Battle Report in a while. Yeah, it's been a while. We did one, I think, towards the end of the old edition of 40k. Because we were sort of, it was, we, it was a while ago. Because we wanted a little bit of a palate cleanser, and uh, we decided, you know what, we've been playing a lot of 10th edition 40k. It'd be nice to mix things up a little bit. So we thought, you know what, we go for a bit of action. I tell you, bot action, it's popping off on the channel recently, Simon. <laughs> People have been loving it. So uh, hopefully, this will be the first of many regular bot action battle ports that we manage to do. But uh, we have got a bit of a classic today, the Italians versus the 8th Army. Uh, very much, I think, a sort of Western desert, with tough gut, all that kind of good stuff. And it should be a fun game because we've both brought armies that we love. Uh, Italians are renowned for being a bit of a fun, if, <laughs> if a bit of a meme faction. And the British, well, can't go wrong with the British side. <laughs> there you are. But that's what's going to be taking, uh, going to be battling it out today. Now, let's head on over to the army list themselves. And here we have 1,000 points of the British. Oh yes, the British are coming. We don't quite have the red coats today, but we do have the 8th Army. We are wearing our short sleeves and battle shorts. Knees to the enemy, Simon. Knees to the enemy. <laughs> the enemy shall be intimidated by our bayonets and our knees. Yes, knobbly knees. Exactly, exactly. Fine British knobbly knees. Now, we are running a single generic reinforced platoon. And we have 13 order dice. Because we normally have a 12 dice order limit. But we don't include free units in that. So, I've got my free artillery observer. So there we go. Can't wait. There we go. Those I'm cheesing the rules that I made up for our gaming group. <laughs> <laughs> so all right, the Soviets do it as well, and then the French get 14 units when everyone else gets 12. So it's uh, it swings and roundabouts. <laughs> but let's take a look at the list now. So starting off, we have of course my favourite bit: the infantry corps, the backbone of every Mordian glory army, regardless of whether it is 40k bot action or another system. I always believe in having lots and lots of good infantry. Today, we have got three squads of regular British infantry. Every single man in these squads is equipped with a rifle. The good old Lee Enfield. It was good enough for World War One. They're classic. Yeah, it's good enough for the First World War. It was good enough for Dad. It's good <laughs> enough for me. That's how I see it. And if that doesn't give you a big hint to what my army rule is today, I am running... Rapid fire. As the British, you get to select your army. It's not like the Germans where you're stuck with like Hitler's buzz saw. Well, Hitler's buzz is quite good, but you get to pick, and you can pick from being better in combat, or you can pick from being like braver and stuff like that. And we have gone for rapid fire, which means for every three rifles we have in a squad, we get an extra shot. And if you take full ten man squads of rifles, it's almost like getting a free LMG. Yeah. That's one way of looking at it. It's pretty tasty. Now, supporting the regular infantry, we have got the veterans. Three uh, SMGs in a five-man squad of veterans, and they are going to be barneying around the place in one of the two Bren carriers that we've brought today. Uh, both of these Bren carriers have been given the extra LMG on top. Finally, in terms of the uh, sort of the the regular infantry, we have got uh, some officers leading the force to the head of the snake, as it were. We have got an officer with a Webley revolver. I know he could have an SMG, but God damn it, he is an officer and a gentleman, <laughs> and so he will be equipped with his field issue revolver. Is right. It's right, and it also right. you can't cheese. You shouldn't cheese the modelling rules in bot action. No. If it's got an SMG, it has an SMG. If it's got an STG, it's got an STG. If it's got a pistol, it's got a pistol. He will be equipped by uh, with one man. He'll be equipped. He will be equipped. accompanied. Equipped. Equipped with a man. Like my God, human, sir, they do things human, differently in the British Army. Human centipede. No, oh, God. <laughs> we don't. It's all these weird hazing rituals of the British <laughs> Army because it's been around for so long. Oh, um, so we have got. 
Uh, bringing up the rear. Oh, wait, that doesn't make it any better. No, uh, we no, have got accompanying out. him is his dog's body. We've got Baldrick. We have got a man with a Lee Enfield. And then we've also got our free artillery observer right here. It's very, it's very hot today. So he's like mopping his brow, getting all sweaty, calling in the artillery. Uh, and then we get to the support units. Now we have got the classic, the never leave home without it, 25 pounder. Yeah. It's a light howitzer and it's a light tank gun and it gets a spotter as well, making it one of the best howitzers in the game, in my opinion. You pay five points more for all of that goodness. I mean, why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? And it has a gun shield as well. I always think it is interesting how it's a light howitzer because of how giant the uh, the gun is. I guess that one's bigger than more, much bigger than my howitzer. I think it's because it's a really, really old gun. So it's uh, like it's it's very big, but the shell it fires is actually relatively underpowered. All about size. Exactly, exactly. Uh, and then we've got the medium mortar, uh, and that is regular, and that will have a uh, spot as well. Then we've got the uh, medium machine gun. Uh, I know a lot of people don't like medium machine guns, but I've always been a bit of a fan of them. I actually prefer them over snipers these days. A lot of people think snipers are great, but I've always found no. them a bit poo. Yeah, great. Yeah, I mean, we, I mean, when we first started, Simon, everyone we knew was was running snipers, <laughs> and one by one, they've slowly converted over to the uh, the cult of anti sniper. Yeah, they're not putting MMGs in. That's just me, but uh, <laughs> but uh, you can't. I just again, you can't leave home without a Vickers. Yeah, you can't leave home without it. And then we've got the boys had a tank rifle, and finally we have a rather splendid Cromwell. Normally, I run a Sherman Five with this army because I feel like the Sherman Five is a bit more. 8th Army, but I thought we'll go full British today. None of this yank madness running around. We shall go with the good old uh, the good old battle box, the Cromwell. And that is 1,000 points. No, it's not. It's 999 points Ooh. on the nose and one point down. But just to, let, just to be clear, everything is regular apart from the ones got directions. All right. So that is the Tommies. Now let us go over to the Italians. Hey! Ba ba da boop beep! Ba ba da boop beep! See, Simon, I also can speak Italian. Uh, why don't you take us through your 1,000 points of what is widely considered to be the worst faction in bot action? Well, yes, and I've, I've decided to make them even worse, but uh, there we go. So, yeah, we've got uh, just a regular uh, reinforced platoon. Uh, we've got on the left there a uh, first. first uh, Lieutenant. A first lieutenant uh, with his pistol and he's got a carbine, but his little mate's got a little mate there's got a, a submachine gun. You know the Italian submachine guns were widely considered to be very good. Well, Beretta. Yeah, yeah. The anything about guns to be fair, but the light machine gun was considered absolute dog shit. But the <laughs> uh, submachine gun, a lot of the German, Germans really rated it, um, and when the Italians ended up giving a lot of their equipment over, mm. when they surrendered or got, it got forcibly taken off them, one of the most coveted pieces of equipment that the German soldiers were, were taken off them was the SMGs. Oh, there you go, I've got two of them. you got two? Two. Nice, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, take it so So after my little historical tangent, yeah, go, we've got a first attendant with an SMG and a carbine. Uh, yes. There we go. There you go. Uh, then we've got the uh, can't leave home without it medium machine gun with a spotter. Medium machine with a spotter? Uh, you mean medium uh, no, mortar? mortar. Yeah, medium yeah. mortar even, oh, my I'm God. Sorry, we've got a mortar, if you could get a medium machine with a spotter, I don't know how it would help, but it would be interesting to say the least. Uh, well, we've got, we've got one of those. Uh, nice. Then we've got the uh, the artillery, which is a medium howitzer, oh, and then the spotter. That's a beast, that one. Yeah, that, that's got a gun shield. I can also forget about the gun shield as well, to be fair. That. Just makes it that little bit more durable. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, then we've got a truck. We've got a, the trusty Fiat truck. <laughs> yes, I love it. Um, so we'll see if that keeps going. Uh, then we've got <laughs> three uh, sections of black shirts. Oh, boo! <laughs> Boo! So, you on. you collected the bad guys. <laughs> yes. Well, I think go for the worst possible bad guys so they can get the backsides handed to them on a regular basis. So, so like Simon's like, I just imagine you there, just like thinking, which Italian should I collect? Should I collect the funny men running around with the feathers in their hats? Oh, everyone loves the Basagliari. Yeah. And it's like, see the black, just like, no. 
I'll get them instead. They have fezzes. Look at the fezzes. Look that is them. true, they do. I mean, look, look a little, like, I mean, one of them looks like he's got a little, like, uh, Santa Elf fez on him. It's brilliant. That is true. Uh, <laughs> oh, look the guy back there. Honestly, he's got his own elf hat. Oh, it looks my like God. He's making, uh, looks like he's making um, wooden trains. Um, anyway, so... When the elves get conscripted <laughs> into the munitions factory and they're making Kakano rifles. Oh. Oh uh, yeah. my anyway, God. so uh, yeah, three sections. Uh, two of one of ten men, uh, one of eleven, and one of the eleven men squads has got a submachine gun. Nice. Uh, and the special rule is uh, a bit like the, the German one for the uh, the Volksgrenadiers yeah, are on the but, line, but it's just terrible. Um, so the, the so if I shoot you, if you shoot or don't have to hit, just shoot, yeah. or they get hit by you know random anything. anything. I roll the dice on a one or a two, they become shirkers. <laughs> um, or a three or a four, they just stay as regular. Or a five or six, they become uh, fanatics. 33% chance to become almost unusably bad. Yes. And a 33% chance to get a nice special rule. It would be if they were any good in combat, but they're not. <laughs> it's like, you know, it's great. Look at us, we're really fanatical, but we've got absolutely nothing that's going to yeah. help us in combat. It's a really, really... so. As much as we do, uh, obviously, you know, give Simon a bit of shit for collecting, like, the OG <laughs> fascists, um, in terms of the rules, they're at, they are actually very interesting. I think they're the most flavourful. And um, it is really, really good because it represents... You did have some people in the black shirts who were in it for the cause. Yeah. And they were the fanatics. Yeah. You had some people that were just, like, regular soldiers who just joined up because they might have had a bit of a political affiliation. Yeah. And then you had the chances. Yeah. The people that joined up because they thought they were going to win. And had and, a nice fez. And had wanted the drip, wanted the uniform, wanted to strut around town in their fancy uh, yeah, yeah. uniform. And actually when the fighting started... They bricked themselves. They bricked themselves. But they would probably wouldn't have revealed... You wouldn't know who was who until the bullets actually started flying. So it is... Uh, I actually have to say, when I've been looking at my Italians now, I, uh, I do... Um, I've got the Alpini, but I am looking at the black shirts just because they do seem to have some very <laughs> some very fun and flavorful rules whether you know even if they are the baddies and um, they're not very good and they're not very <laughs> and we always like collecting underdogs here sam and i have got a very similar mentality when it comes to our bot action hours it's just like we're going to collect what we like what's yeah. cool um i always run volts grenadiers which a lot of people think are terrible but i quite like them and you always run your black yeah, shirts always because run, always run them as black shirts yeah there we go um then we've got the one unit that is really really good Ah, the Gustatori! We can do it better! My, co my only Company of Heroes 3 quote that I know. <laughs> uh, so that's a 10 man section with Four. two flamethrowers. <laughs> oh my god. Um, I wonder who's going in the truck. <laughs> they, they well do. I don't know. I don't want to tip my hand yet. <laughs> Why would they? They're definitely going in the truck. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, now, um, the, the actual the, the, the black shirts did have Gustatori uh, sections. Nice. They don't have the black shirt rule. Thankfully, because last thing I would want would be uh, shirker flavour. One hundred sixty-seven points of shirkers that Whoa. would just be uh, upsetting. That's a spicy unit. I don't think I've ever spent that much on a unit. You know, no, not on an infantry unit. Anyway. <laughs> uh, and then you've got the armour. Yeah, then we've got the armour. The, the, the thing that the Italians were well known for—the finest armour on the Axis side, putting the Germans to shame. Oh wait, no, it's the other way around. <laughs> Uh, so we've got, and I love this tank, I think it's a really lovely looking <laughs> model. Uh, it is cool. We have got the M14 slash 41 medium tank. Nice. Um, so that's, uh, it's uh, a medium tank, but uh, with only a light anti-tank gun. So I'm not even sure I can pen your Cromwell, can I? Uh, you can at close range. At close range. Otherwise, you're fishing for glances. Yeah. So there you go. So and it's also got a really great special rule, uh, vulnerable as well. So uh, brilliant. <laughs> it actually does all right as long as no one brings a tank. No one shoots it. It's fine. I mean, I did at one of your events. I was playing the Russians, and they brought uh, an IS five. IS two. IS two. Right? Yeah. Uh, and uh, basically, I spent the whole day avoiding it. Yeah. Um, basically just driving around avoiding it um, it's a bully tank this one yeah it yeah. goes around you don't use it to fight the tanks you use it to hose them down machine guns yeah, yeah basically yeah. but it's a, it's, a, it's a nice looking model to be fair yeah uh, and finally we have got uh, the auto blinder 41 which nice. is quite a cool looking uh, armoured it's a car. big armoured car isn't it yeah it's yeah. bigger than what I'm uh, I'm used to with things like Daimler and 
And Humber Armoured Cars, but it's quite a chunky boy, that one. It's almost as big as your tank. Yeah, well, yeah, probably is, actually, to be yeah. fair. Uh, and actually, I've just realised the the, uh, the the Gusatori is actually an 11 man section, so I'm missing a geezer. Okay, we'll, we'll put one on we'll afterwards. Add that on. But that, there we go, that's 999 points. Um, actually, did quite well at the last event, I think. It's yeah. Two, two, two wins, and it was you spawned a draw right at the end. I was beating you in that game as well, if I remember correctly. Uh, yes, you were you were winning, and then I happened to roll uh, not three sixes in a row, just three sixes in the exact order that I needed them in that yeah. turn, and then I uh, got a draw. So uh, yeah, chipped you of the uh, tournament win, Simon. <laughs> well, it was it was it was side, and it was this army. Oh my god, it's a rematch! It's a rematch. Yeah. It's revenge. Yeah. Okay. Well, I did get very lucky last time, so if we get anywhere close to that, I'll be happy. Okay, okay. Well, that is the two armies. Let us head over to the field of battle and deployment. And here we have the field of battle for today. Let's start off by going through the terrain. We have got lots of forests and hills and small ruined buildings. And then, of course, we've got the river dominating the centre of the board and the church on the left. The church and the walls around it are going to count as heavy cover. You will be able to get in the church if you want to. It will count as a building. Uh, any of the hills and patches of trees are going to count as dense cover. That means that you can't see through them unless you're in them, and you can't advance through them because you're carefully sort of picking your way through the terrain because you're not sure what's in there. These little outcrops here, here, and here will count as light cover, and then the hill, the entire footprint of the hill, whether you're shooting through it or you're on it, will count as light cover. It's just basically lots of little rocks and scrubbly trees and and uh, and hedges that block line of sight just a little bit. And obviously you could hide behind the rise of it as well. The river, the entire thing is going to count as light cover, but it's only going to be gently flowing today. More of a stream. Definitely a stream. Definitely a stream. So it will be rough ground. So infantry and tracked vehicles will be able to advance but not run through it. Wheeled vehicles will only be able to use the crossing point here. And we'll just say this whole bit here is the crossing point. That is the terrain. Then we get to the mission. And we rolled meeting engagement. Basically, kill points. Whoever kills the most enemy units wins, although you do have to kill at least two more enemy units uh, in order to get the win. If you only kill one more, it will count as a draw. It has to be a clear victory there. I kind of would think if I'd only brought one unit, I might have done quite well. But if you lose that... <laughs> uh, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> German players are all like the Mao. It's meta. <laughs> this one particular unit, you can't win. It's going to be a draw. I have won the, I have chosen to bring only one unit to this battle. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you just literally you can't. You don't have to take a four thousand point list. You could turn up with only a one single officer. There you go. That's how you never lose there a game you, of action in the future. Um, now, meeting engagement is kill points, but. Um, Technically, the deployment is uh, what we call first wave and reserve. So you don't actually deploy anything down. But Simon and I, we started um, pulling some dice to see if anything exciting would happen. And we just ended up deploying. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll take you through. Basically, we're at the end of we're at the end of turn one now uh, because first wave. Rather than deploying things on, you literally you come on from reserve now i didn't put anything in long-term reserve so i've got all of my army is on the board right now but simon you did put i believe four units into long-term reserve which is uh your tank your auto blender your truck and the gustadori that's really not getting old yet <laughs> <laughs> So uh, I'll take you through how turn one essentially played out. And we've got one little bit of shooting to do, and then we'll be going straight into turn two. Yes. So the British ended up with a Bren carrier with the veterans coming in on this flank, both of them sort of uh, running on. I did try to go down with my uh, veterans to force Simon to... Uh, bring some other units on first but it, it didn't work out i ended up i've got a bit of a dice advantage over time because i've got 13 and he's only uh, only got 10 um then fortunately that doesn't trigger your advantage of warrior because you have Just to actually about, yeah, you actually have to lose units uh, i then brought in my light howitzer here and uh, the officer's there, and the, the spotter for the light howitzer is just there. So the howitzer itself is hiding behind line of blocking. The spotter's on top, able to see out and hopefully bombard some stuff. Uh, Ten-man squad of rifles there. Cromwell came on here. 
Uh, empty um, brain carrier on there with the artillery observer next to it. 10-man squad of riflemen there. Vickers just parking its bum down here, ready to cover the cover the crossing point. I always quite like having a Vickers in quite a cinematic position, just covering a flank. Uh, anti-tank rifle team, so that means I've got a little bit of anti-tank spread out everywhere, some on the flank. Obviously, my own tank's got the medium AT, and then we've got the light AT gun there. Uh, and then we have a bit of artillery as well. So we've got a mortar team here, and another rifle squad up there, and the spotter for the mortar just in there. So if you look at sort of the British first wave come deployment, um, it's quite equally spread out. We've got infantry on each flank and the center. We've got artillery on each flank, and we've got anti-tank spread out throughout the whole thing. We'll then go over to the Italians. And Simon, you also did quite a balanced sort of first wave. You didn't overcommit in, in any one place because you weren't sure where my tank was. My tank was the last unit to come on, guys. Yeah. And you weren't sure exactly where that was. So you didn't want to overcommit for the my tank to just start dominating it. Yeah. yeah. That's going to be pivotal, I think, in this battle. I think, the uh, yeah, the, the Cromwell might get a good show in today. But a lucky light and tank round through the front or you get a side shot on me. It's bolt action. One shot can <laughs> knock out a vehicle. So yeah, things have happened. Exactly. Um, so you brought on your. Uh, you've got one squad of black shirts here with the medium howitzer and the officer, yeah. uh, and then you've got a, another squad of black shirts, yeah, just yeah. standard, just rifles there. Rifles, yeah. And then we've got a another squad of black shirts. It's just the ten man squad yeah, here, -man. and then the medium mortar with the medium mortar spotter. Is that the chap? Um, is that the artillery spotter? Yeah, that's the medium mortar. That's, that's the medium mortar spotter. And that's the artillery. And that's the artillery spotter. He uh, put his up in the uh, in the tower there because your spotters can forward deploy. Uh, I always be a bit conservative with my spotters, but uh, I'm not facing off against snipers today, so I'm probably going to be a bit more aggressive for it. But that was essentially turn one. As you can see, no one was shooting at each other the entire time. We were just coming onto the board. But like I said, my tank did come on at the end. And it has decided that it's going to try and give the beans to the black shirts. Now, I have one machine gun in the front and we're going for a HE shell from the, um, from the tank. Because I'm allies, I actually get quite good a quite good HE shell from my uh, medium anti tank gun. So... I roll my dice first, or do you roll your dice first? No, I roll my dice first. Well, I don't think it makes that much difference. That's no, because it doesn't affect your... Uh, no. It was just affect if you're fanatic. Fanatic's only when I'm in combat and... No, no, it's all the time. Ah. Uh, it's all the time. Well. Just roll your dice, see what you get. Make it so, just to be clear, we'll explain to you what we're doing. I have targeted one of Simon's units. We now need to find out if they are party believers or if they're just along for the ride. Yes, pretty much. Oh no! <laughs> so unfortunately, this particular squad of black shirts just joined up for the spiffy uniform and they are now shirkers, which means that you always need to take an order test even if you have no pins. Yeah. And you count as having double <laughs> the number of pins uh, for, order tests. for order tests and for getting pinned out, I think, as well. But we'll double check that one, just in case. Uh, but now we get to come over to... Cromwell. Yes. Now, uh, do you have a tape measure to hand, good sir? Could you please check if I am within 36 for my uh, machine gun? Obviously, I can't pre-measure this being by action. That's the tip of my machine yeah, yeah, gun yeah. there. Okay, so we are in range. Excellent. So we'll fire the HE shell first. Um, do I have, a, I have a big dice for this? <laughs> okay, so load HE on the way. That's not going to hit. No. And we're not with, so I would have needed... Um, I've moved long range light cover I needed a 6 yeah so I, but a 3 is not enough it's getting all hyped up for it, <laughs> but it turned out not to be uh, not to be the case then we have 5 medium machine gun shots to be honest even if I don't get any kills the fact that I've shirked you is almost a good enough result um, so we'll go for the medium machine gun so this again will be moved long range light cover yeah. um, the advantage of what's interesting is because Obviously, if this was a regular deployment, you probably would have chosen to go down, yes. putting it on sixes followed by sixes. But because of first wave, you can't do that. So it's, I quite I quite like first wave. I, I always forget how much I like it until I play it because it does it does mean that you actually have some chances to kill some stuff on the first turn. But we'll see. Well, not today though. <laughs> so uh, no hits, unfortunately. So the uh, the 
the, the cast iron bitch has come on and done precise nothing. But the uh, obviously a bit of explosive sm- explosion has gone off here and your guys have gone, oh, I didn't know we actually had to fight. Now they're going to spend the whole game going down. Yeah. That, that's their role. That's the their game. role. <laughs> so you've got one Shirkers. Yes. It'll be interesting to see what happens to the other two squads. Yes. Whoa! I love the Italian rules, man. Because you could get shirkers on everyone, and then it's just like, well, that's game. But let's just like see what actually happens. And of course, then you've got the uh, the rule. If I get a couple of behind, my leadership goes down by two. So, uh, so uh, have you paid for the auto fanatic squad? No, no. It's because you could look at the Gustatori. Yes. Ah. So I can't afford them. Yeah, okay. So one of the things that you can do, Tyler, just to let the viewers know, is that was that, that shirker rule is quite swingy, very, very, very <laughs> tricky. Not ideal, to say the least. So you can actually pay to just make one squad, one squad fanatics. fanatics. Yeah. But Simon didn't do that because he wanted to take the fourth Uber squad, which was the Gustatori, which are the double flamethrowers. And if you're a 40k player watching this... Flamethrowers are very good in more action. It's not like 40k. <laughs> so that's a very good squad. But that's all for... Also, also very expensive. Very expensive. Is it like 40, 20 points per flamethrower? I think it's... Well, that whole squad, but the, the, the truck's about 200 points. Yeah, it must be 20 or 30 points per yeah. flamethrower. But, uh, but that is turn one. So what we'll do is we'll put the dice back in the bag and let the game commence properly going into turn two. Okay, Simon... Reach into your sack of goodies and pull out the first dice. It is an Italian dice. Hey, the Italians. There we go. Do you know what you're doing or do you need a little think? Um, I am going to... Let's have a think. Let me have a quick think. Okay, we'll be back once Simon has made his first decision. Incoming! The Italian medium war team is going to open up with a barrage onto... My medium machine gun team. Now, as it is kill points, I'm just going to let it go. I'm just going to let it go. I'm going to let it go. Let's see if he gets it. Oh, he's done it. He's done it. He's got, he's got an opening barrage. I've done to you what you do to me regularly. I could feel that was covered in as well. So that will be um, three dice and two ups. Here we go. Hey, so that will be my medium machine gun knocked out straight away. I, sh- I knew I should have gone down, you know. I had a feeling in my gut. But that is one machine gun team taken out of action. And that is actually a dice out of the bag as well. Hopefully, I will be able to return the favor in kind soon. But that is a kill. An exciting start to the uh, to the game. I'll tell you what, we'll put the, uh, the kill dice in here. So an exciting start. And that is one kill to the Italians. That okay. Choice, that, that was a good start. Yeah, yeah good start indeed. It is a British dice. A fine British dice, sir. Um, okay. Do I want to respond in kind? Uh, what would I target if I did respond in kind? I think that, yes, I think going for the artillery, having a start off with, a, with an opening artillery duel is going to be the way to go. Um, and I'm going to launch my mortar team here into using my spotter, which is here. And that means I'm going to have to, I think I'm going to look out... I think I don't think I can quite see those ones, so I'm going to go for the ones that are shirkers. <laughs> I didn't want to. I actually wanted to try and start triggering yeah. more shirkerness, but um, well, that's fine. I'm going to uh, go down. You're going to go down, yeah. okay? That is their uh, their function. Their, their function for the rest of the game. Well, let's see die. if they, if it's going to help them. Oh, it's not in the tray, Simon. Live by the tray, die by the tray. Oh! <laughs> it's an opening barrage. <laughs> Oh god, this game this game is gonna be something, isn't it? Oh my god. So thank god, yeah. I mean I should have done man. Yeah, lessons learned. Artillery, the king of battle. So I think I would be able to get um three. I tend to say with a two-inch template, I could like group up on that three there, or that three there, or that three there. So we'll say I can get three, which goes down to two. Yes. Um so two ups. 
two kills. And then D3 pins. Just two. So that will become... You, it's only two pins, but it counts as four for when you're doing other stuff. And you will now, uh, I will get a dice to mark the fact that I am dialed in on you. So the medium mortars have opened up and absolutely decimated both sides. Oh my God. All right, well, we'll uh, be back in just a moment. So after a furious opening mortar barrage from both sides, explosions and smoke popping up all over the place, We've got another dice to draw. Simon, what is in your sack of goodies? An Italian dice! Are you going to continue the bombardment? Oh, okay. Continue the bombardment. Continue the bombardment. Oh, my God. Okay, what are you going to be bombarding me? Well, I know what you're bombarding me with. It's going to be your medium howitzer yeah. spotting from here. Where are you going to drop that shell, sir? I am going to drop it on... I'm just going to drop it on that squad in... Yes. I'll go down. Yes. Okie dokie. Not risking that again then. Nope. <laughs> you want a dice? So I need a dice, please, sir. Thank you. One second, let me get the down there. Okay, down, let's see what you get. Oh, oh my god, I'm so scared. <laughs> uh, so do you want to give me a dice for dialing in? There we go. So you will now be dialing in against me on a five. There we are. Uh, pop the fire over for us, please. There we go, no problem. I'll tell you what, we'll just put it there for a second and we'll uh, draw the next dice, see what it is. Oh, well, you know, I think it's only fitting. <laughs> it's only fitting that I continue my barrage. So this will be a fire order over here. And this will this was a fire order for you over here. And then now I need to roll my light howitzer. And I'm going to use my spotter. And I'm going to go for these guys here so first thing you need to do simon i'm gonna use the special shirker dice that let me the down special too. shirker dice what what are they hey! <laughs> so the dice giveth the dice taketh away so now this unit might be shirkers but these guys they are old school black shirts they were part of the march on rome and they are now fanatical are you going to go down no no Whoa. I saw it for a second. It was a fine choice. Do you want to give me one of your little white dice and I'll put them? Um, white dice? Yeah. Uh, we'll use no, them for the, I'm using those for my pins. We'll use um, something else for pins, don't worry. All right. So we'll use my orange dice for pins. We'll use your white dice just for general okay, uh, dialing ins. There we go. Because I feel like with this, with this, uh, with this oh, game. Behave. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, just <laughs> cheating slightly. <laughs> Come on, if you don't cheat, you don't try hard enough, Simon. <laughs> there we go. Just, it's, just been, it's, just, it's just been so instinctive to put it in on uh, on twos. All right, what's the next dice? Ooh. Ooh. Mm. All the artillery's gone off now, right? Yep. Gonna go on ambush. Here. Bit of an ambush. What's the next dice? An Italian one. You are going blow for blow, Simon. Yeah. Even with a bit of a dice disparity. Uh, Less so now, though. But Right, I think... I am going to advance. Ooh. Ooh. I'm going to advance that squad. Oh, oh, no, there's those trees in the way. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to advance that squad. This one here? No. The Fanatics? Yes. Okay. And they're going to go out of the river and through the hedgerows. So, so you want to go six inches over here. So yeah. tell you what, man, why don't you come round here and uh, we'll get you we'll get you doing that so you can show people exactly where you want to go. So you're advancing out of the difficult terrain. Yes. But you're going to, I assume, keep at least half the squad in the terrain so you can still get the light cover. Yes. Okay, that's fine. There we go. Okay, well, I'll tell you what, we'll be back once you've finalised that. Emerging from the soggy riverbank, an elite squad of fanatical Italian black shirts begins to advance out into the open. Let's see what happens next. A British dice. Ah, a rather splendid British dice, I see. Hmm, we've got an ambush there. Hmm. I wonder if I can... I can see you there. I probably can't quite see you. Okay, that's fair enough. I think what we'll do 
is we'll go for an advance and we're going to because I'm a I'm a, a track vehicle and you get the one turn. Yeah. So I'm going to go like that, twist slightly, and then move forward to about there. There we go. And then I will put my two machine guns into your squad of infantry there, and I can see past the corner of the terrain now. So we shall need some dice to do some daka daka daka. So give me a moment. I need two LMGs here. All right. There we are. So the Bren and the uh, the Bren carrier and the guys inside uh, firing 36 inches from with their light machine guns into the Fnatic Italian squad. Now you will be getting light cover and I've moved and it's long range, so it will be sixes. Two. Oh, that's not bad. Not too shabby. Get get in there, going places. Take a pin. We shall take a pin. Uh, and then fours. Yeah, just, just regulars. One kill. A so a solo kill on the on the big squad. Do you want me to just pick the guy from the back? Uh, yeah, and pop a pin on them. Okay. There we are. All right, we'll get that pin marker on them, uh, and we're back with the next dice. Okie croaky, let's see what the next dice is going to be. A British one again! Mmm. Mmm. Okay. I'm going to go for the... What have you got? You've got your Auto Blinder and your Kustatori. Got my Black Shirt squad. Black Shirt there. Say. Not too worried about them. Okay, what we'll do is we'll go down with my veterans. Pardon me. Tis I. Tis the Italianos. I'm going to go down with my uh, Gustatori. Oh, Gustatori! We're going to... Ah, stop it now. <laughs> They're like, you do not go down, we go down better. There we go, blow for blow. Here we are. Now that does um, that makes me less worried now, because I was somewhat concerned by the uh, the gusatory, to say the least. I don't think because like, it would be twelve six six. It's only going to be twenty four inches. Mm. It's still it's still enough. I need. I think I need you to come forward a little bit. Come forward a little bit. Okay. Well, now gun line for the rest of the I'm joking. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for advance actually. So what we're gonna do is we're going to find the advance, we're going to put it here, we're going to just advance up to about here, we're not going to go the full six, we're not going to worry about measuring it too much. Advance up to here, um, and then we're going to unleash a barrage of rifle fire onto the, um, onto the fanatical squad. Oh, hello! It's not Commissar Cat Kylo today, is it? It's uh, Liaison Officer <laughs> Kylo has decided to join us. How you doing, sweetie? Are you going over to Simon? Oh, she's a bit of a floozy when it comes to Simon. Are you all right? <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Okay, yes. Oh, I know. We're, we're, why aren't we paying attention to you? We're playing with these silly models, aren't we? There we go. Well, go on then. You go down. Go on. Good girl. There we are. <laughs> So let me get some dice together and we'll unleash some rapid action, bolt action, fire into your Italians. Creeping up the riverbed, spotting some Italians, they unleash a furious barge of fire only to discover that they are not in range. The pitter patter of shots falling about here. Well, well, Welly Wellington. Not the, not the result we really <laughs> wanted, but there you go. All right, Sam, what is the next dice? Another British one. We'll get a, another chance at it, shall we? Okay. Now, I am tempted to go... You've not brought your tank in yet. No, nope, I've still got three. Okay. So, we're going to go for an advance over here. And we're just going to... We're going to... What we'll do is we'll hop into that cover. And then we're going to shoot this guy. Okay. Not got a good chance of killing him, but all I need is one lucky shot. <laughs> yeah, so we'll do, tell you what, we'll do that um, off camera. 
who's just a bunch of inaccurate rifle fire hitting on six followed by sixes, and will come back either at the end of the turn or if something exciting happens. After a few uneventful dice with various officers going down and a bit of a push from the Italians, it then started heating up again with the auto, is it Belinda or Blind? Auto Belinda 41. Auto Belinda 41 coming in here. It passed its reserve test on a flying seven, but it has triggered my ambush from my, uh, from my anti-tank rifle team. Now it will be long range and it will be light cover, meaning I will need a five to hit your vehicle. And you are attempting to shoot my anti-tank team, but you only six followed by sixes, yes. whatever happens. So we'll see what happens. Unless you can't hit me at all because you're dead. <laughs> oh, it's a hit, it's a pin. So now, because it's over long range and I'm pen plus two, I need uh, a pen plus one and your armor seven, so I need a six. You feeling it, Simon? I'm just, just gonna happen now. Are you Simon? feeling it? No, not quite. <laughs> All right, so you do have a pin, but that doesn't really bother you so much because you're still six followed by sixes. I'm going to use a coaxial machine gun. Just the machine gun. That's all I can. So it's coaxial. So okay, that's fine. All the other, isn't it? Yeah. So uh, you will be on six followed by sixes. One possible. Oh. One actual. <laughs> you need a four plus to wound. It is a kill. I will now need to take a leadership test. Tell you what. That was so, these way. Italians, they're, they're doing things to me. It's not a good start. It's not a good start. Ah! That was the only one that you would rescue on, wasn't it? Uh, or two. A one or a two. I did, as a roll of dice, I fired in terror. <laughs> now, this chap is dead. Now, that will mean my team is now going to be at a permanent minus one to hit. And it has got a pin on it as well I so well. and you need a pin dice as well here you are sir orange pin dice or human is in danger orange for danger all right well pull the next dice and i think it's only going to get hotter so i have left my artillery spotter and my uh, cromwell my cromwell can't see your uh, auto tank. I was really hoping you'd come on there and then I was just going to yeah. put an AT shell through the side of you. Uh, as a result, um, I think my Cromwell is... I, I'm just not as worried about... Anything else. I'm worried about your tank doing a, a thing to me. But I'm just going to go for a fire order. And we're going to fire the, uh, co the machine gun and the uh, anti-tank gun. Yeah. I'm going to fire, because I know you're saying, like, don't go with an inch of my own guys, but I'm going to shoot to your back guy over there, so I won't be going with an inch of my own people. So don't worry, I'll be okay. okay. So, big gun. It's going to be long range like cover. Okay. HE shell. All right. I've got the hit. <laughs> so, uh, as we always say, it's like a two inch template, so three guys. Yeah. Um, although, to be fair... To be fair, if I'm aiming for the guy at the back there, I probably could only hit. Well, I'll hit. I'll hit that guy there and the one guy either side of him. So it, will, it should still be three. Um, so it'll be three, uh, two pluses, three go down, and D three pins. Not that you really care about these because you're fanatics, but it will be um, three. Okay. So, I'm four. so you're on four pins. So we'll remove those casualties. Uh, and then we'll have a look. We'll have a look at the machine and sneak it past, just to be yeah. sure. So the Italian casualties have been removed. We've put the extra pins on them. Little correction on my end. Uh, we just checked off camera, and uh, I would have had to move in order to uh, not go past my own squad there. Um, the tank turret was probably okay, but the machine gun, uh, not so much. So I did take the move because um, I wanted to find a machine gun, and I hit on a six anyway, so it wouldn't have affected the HE shell. And it just, uh, it does make a difference because it means that potentially there's an angle that Simon could hit me now. Um, maybe I will not get covered, maybe I will. So he's shaking his head. He's I'm, shaking. Not, I'm not even bothering shooting it. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just ignoring it for the full game. Okay, fair play. So we then fired the machine gun off and I did get a hit, but it didn't kill anyone. Yeah. So that is uh, my Cromwell done. Simon, get to the next dice, sir. Another grey one. Oh, I didn't want that. I wanted to see where your thing was going to come in <laughs> and then I was going to drop my bombardment. But I think we're going to... We're just going to spaff off the bombardment now. 
So we're going to go, because it doesn't come in yet anyway. We're going to go for a fire order. And we're going to put our little bombardment token right. Because he has to be somewhere you can see. Right. Uh, we'll go there. Because it's a six, it's a six of template, isn't it? Six plus D6. Yeah, you can just see that, yeah. So I think we'll go just about there. And then hopefully I'll be able to catch those guys as well. All right, just pin the whole shit out of that thing. Last two of mine. Last two of yours. What are the last two? I'm going to try and bring my truck on. Ah, truck boy's coming on. He will be coming on. Do you know where he's going? Yes. Okay. So if I do a run on him, I can go up to here and then I... How does that work with it? So uh, if you do a run, yeah, means you have to go 24 inches. Yeah. And that's you can't get out because your guys are yeah. clinging on for dear life. They're already down. But that's terrain, isn't it? That's difficult terrain, so you wouldn't be able to put wheeled vehicles on that. Right, okay. No, no, sorry. It's light cover, but that's the same as if you were going, no, we'll, we'll say you could go over it, but we'll say you can only advance over it. Right. Because okay. it's, it's a bit of a knobbly, bobbly hill. Right, well, that's just... Sod it. <laughs> what if I get first to dice? Well... That's going to be the issue with the truck anyway, any time I bring it on. You, just don't, you don't need to bring it on now. I do. You feel like you need to? I want to, I need to get them on because the longer they're off. The okay, they're okay. It's a bold strategy. It's a bold strategy. Uh, and I'll try and bring the tank on. That's not coming on. That's not coming on. Okay. So uh, a, a, bit of an, a bit of a light armoured push over here. Uh, that that's a bold move. If I get turn one, I'm just gonna fucking unleash a bunch of rifles onto it and try and pin you and blow it up and everything. But you're just accepting that fate. It's gonna have to come on at one point, and uh, that whenever I bring it on, it's gonna be that risk anyway. Okay, you do know that you've only got six inch range on the flamethrower. Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, gentlemen, you've heard. I've tried to. I've tried to talk to him. He's like, no. He has. He has been overtaken by the fury of Mussolini, and he is charging in. Uh, he's charging in his truck. We shall see if it is a mad madness or if there's method. I guess we'll find out. It's it's a swingy move. If it works, big big move. If it works, it's a big move. Yeah, I, I, I think to be honest, that whole that is what that squad does. I mean, it's, it's just runs in there. Are they veteran or regular? They're just regular. Uh, did the body armor? No. Okay. Okay. I think it's suicidal, but it's, uh, <laughs> it's uh, makes for good TV. It does. Make... <laughs> That's what we're all about, baby. That's what we're all about. There you go. All right. Well, we will gather the dice up, and we're back with turn three. All right. At the very beginning of the turn, we need to see if the artillery bombardment comes in. On a one, it is miscalculated. The token moves in a random direction. On a two to three, it is delayed. And on a four, five, or six, it will be coming in. It's miscalculated. Oh. Uh, I need a order dice to do the scatter. It scatters 3d6 in a random direction and then comes in. Last so, time you did this, you were uh, scattered. Is that my dice set? That's fine. It doesn't matter because it goes back in the bag. Yeah. Um, so let's have a look. It's going that way, 12 inches. Uh, okay, that's a bit of a weird one. <laughs> so it's going to go basically straight towards, straight diagonally. That's not really a thing, is it? Straight diagonally. So it's going to go... 12 inches that way. Twelve inches that way. Land there. And then uh, it then it comes in fire for effect. And it is D6 plus six inches wide. So it might catch two units or it might catch one. So eight inches wide, I think, means it's just going to get the fanatical unit. But we'll see if I can clip them. No, not quite. Um, no, I'm I'm not Soviet. If I was Soviet, I could <laughs> I could do it better. So it's just going. So it's just going. So my bombardment isn't going to hit all four units like I hoped. Rather, it's just going to uh, hit the one unit. 
And then we need to determine what it's going to do. On a 1 to 5, you take D3 pin markers. On a 6, you get hit by a large, a 4-inch artillery template. Now, do you want to go down? What's what? Sorry, we'll run that by me again. On a 1 to 5, you'll take D3 pins. No, I'll, I'll On a 6, off. you'll get hit by a 4-inch no. heavy howitzer I'm template. Take it. I'm going to take it, otherwise you're just going to shoot them off the board. It's not in the tray. It's not in the tray. <laughs> oh, I knew it. <laughs> I gave you the chance, Simon. I felt it in my bones. Four inch template. Fuck it. That's the whole squad, isn't it? Uh, I think we actually have a template here, you know. We do. I think that's pretty much a whole squad. It is. Five of seven. It's good to be fanatical because you don't give a shit about uh, all these casualties. Oh. <laughs> Two plus. So it went from me being like, oh, I'll pin up all your stuff to just flattening. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> so I've only killed one guy. Oh, dear. I've only killed one guy. Crazy. All right, so I guess it's, bal it's balanced out. It's swinging round. It's swinging round. But I will do D6 pins to you. Oh, that could have been so much more devastating. Oh, you've got away with murder there, Sai. You've got away with murder. So do you want this last guy? No, he's this guy here. And then you go up to five pins. Oh, that could have been a whole squad goners, mate. Oh, oh dear. Well, it's still one less I have to deal with. It is my bombardment resolved. But that that was that was such a, a heady high to fall to such a terrible low. Well, All right. We've got this as the uh, next... Uh... Let's do the next dice, yeah. Oh, it's failed. I think you know what's coming. Yeah. I think I'm going to uh, unleash hell onto your uh, truck there. Um, I think the best man for the job... If It's interesting because... Oh, no, because you can move and get out, can't you? Yes. So you could move 12 and then you could get out with the guys and then horrible, horrible things would happen. So I think my only choice here is because you can dis you can move after disembarking. You can, dis you can move then disembark. Yeah. So I have to either stay still here or fall back behind the gnarly thing. I think we're going to go. We're going to go for it. We're going to go for a big old fire because I can still put pins on you. OK, so every man here is going to fire into this truck. All right. So, we've got seven shots there. And then we've got, we need, we need 13 in total. So, there's five. There's nine. There's ten. There's 13. It will be, uh, I'm over half range. Good job by, uh... <laughs> yeah. Well, you've helped me with my measurement anyway. It's over half range. <laughs> and, um... That's state. Light. That's it. Light cover. Light cover. Yeah, I think you probably are getting light cover there because you're just shooting over the hill. You don't need to be. We'll just say light cover. It's fine. Oh, does that change what I want to do with it then? You can't like it measured. That's true. It wasn't the measuring that was. I knew I wasn't well, in half I range. Can swap. Of course, you can. It wasn't the measuring that I was going for. The only other options I'd go for this guy who will just be hitting you on a a three. Yeah, straight up. Straight up three. Is he minus one hit because he's ah, he's minus one to hit, so it's a four. And he has to pass his pin. I have to pin. No, we're, we're gonna. Oh, Simon! See, there was a little bit of thought going into this, but you could go for that squad as well, couldn't you? The other option, no, this is fine. This is fine. This is, we'll go for this. This is fine because if I uh, I could ambush you instead, but I'd have to, I could ambush you instead, and that would potentially mean I don't have the light, you don't have the light cover. Yeah. And you wouldn't have the pin either. Hmm. No, we're just going to go for it. Uh, one, two, three, four hits. Which is okay. I'm not going to worry about it too much. If they saw a truck barreling towards them, what would they do? They'd fucking open fire on it. <laughs> there you go. So now we need a six here. We've got the six, so the truck is destroyed. It's destroyed? Because you're just soft-skinned. Um, no, no. 
Roll on the vehicle damage chart. I got this wrong last time. <laughs> vehicle damage chart, but it's just it's just a straight roll. Yeah. So it's uh so I have to roll first, sorry. I see if I damage you. So on a one to three, you take another pin yeah. and your truck goes down. Now yeah. if it goes down, you re- you will double check. I don't think you reverse. You don't you just you just you can't move. Okay, so the truck has been stopped. Okay. That's the th- important thing to remember first. It's destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> So one to three was down, four was uh, fire. Fire. Five was immobilized, and six was destroyed. Rifle shot through through the uh, front, killing the driver. So now what happens is you take d6 hits on the squad on the inside for four, and then I have to roll to see uh, to kill them. Just on four plus, so just one, and then you uh, go down and take uh, D3 pins for three pins. So you lose one man. The truck is dead. You lose one man, yeah. and you take uh, three pins. Fair enough. Well, that's failed miserably. Ah! <laughs> it was so risky, man. I know, but that was still to, 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 to get it off rifle shots. I thought I would have been able to. Uh... It's the reason why. So everyone poo-poo. Everyone takes trucks. But it's the reason why I, the more I play by action, the more I think I'd rather have um, like a half track, like an armored carrier. Yes, but then I have to have that as an option. You don't have that as an option. <laughs> it's the Italians. Oh, my God. So, so that have, was a long dice, that one. But it was a... Uh, so they have to be in touch in where the truck was. They d- no, they just disembark. Yeah. So you can disembark up to six inches. But they are down and they are uh, they're taking some pins. So we'll let you do that, and we'll be back once you've uh, gotten all the salt out of your system. <laughs> Staring death in the face, the plucky British Tommy levels the Lee Enfield rifle, taking out the Italian Fiat truck. You did say it was going to die, <laughs> and it did indeed die. The Gustatori, we don't think we can do it better anymore, have got out, and they've ended up there, and they've gone down. Not in this turn, but that is going to make them a lot harder for me to kill because now they're minus two to hit, minus three in the cover. So, uh, it's not over yet. Good thing about my action's not not over at all. Um, Pull the next dice, sir. It is a British dice. Mm, Getting a bit of a rush on here. Oh. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to find my mortar. I was wondering. No, 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 I'm not. Because this is this is your artillery, isn't it? Yeah. No, we're gonna we're gonna go for a uh, go for a run. I'm gonna run twelve inches forward and hide behind the forest. So we'll do that, and we're back in a second. Up and Adam, lads, let's go! Charging forward, steel and contempt. There we go. Wait, that's forty k. <laughs> Let's see what we've got here next. Simon, draw the next dice and put it in the tray of destiny. Another British one. My God. All right. Well, there is only one thing for it. Fire the big old mortar round. We're going to put it into the shirkers. They are going down. We need a two plus to hit. We get the hit. That will be two because you've gone down rather than three. Uh, And it will be two plus. And it's two dead. And it will be another D3 pins for two more pins up to four um, uh, orange dice is pins. Yeah. So I'm about to get pinned out. Not yet, because you are leadership nine. And we're going to check if Shirkers affects your getting pinned outness. Yes. But that is a, a bit, another big hit. Another mortar round going in there. <sighs> All right. Well, uh, let's pull the next dice. Another bridge with Simon, what is going on? Okay, my observer here is just going to get inside the bread. There you go. Now he can operate the light machine gun. If you put your dice in there. Are you, are you, <laughs> Simon, are you... Okay. Um, you've still got your tank, so I can't get overly ballsy. Um... I need to fire my light howitzer now. Yes. Shall fire the light howitzer. 
and we're going to fire it and we're going to put it into the uh they're already pretty bloody pinned so we're going to actually fire your last squad we'll see what they turn up as so i'm going to fire my light howitzer i'm going to use my spotter here light howitzer into the final squad of black shirts what are they going to be simon hey <laughs> it's turning around double fanatics is nice double fanatics is very nice you didn't even need to pay for it and you got the, uh, you got a lot of fanatics off that's spicy all right, do we hit them on a six? We do not. We got a two. So that will be uh, that will be that unit shot there. So their fanatics and their fanatics, sure, they're shirkers, but double fanatics is very nice. Am I playing Italians or am I playing against the Japanese today? Well, tell you what we'll do, boys. Uh, we'll do some more dice off camera because I think there's going to be a bit of a... Uh, maneuvering and little bits not much shooting and we'll come back with uh some excited bits like if the tanks start shooting mamma mia when it rains it pours the italians have just not had a good time off camera starting off over here the officer was like hey what are you doing lying in the ground get up oh that's not in the accent now he's like come on lads get up we've got it we've got some of these tommies to beat and they went Nah. <laughs> Literally had leadership um, ten. something like 10 and you got an 11. Yeah. Just no. <laughs> no. So they, they've gone down, unfortunately. And then um, over here, the auto blinder uh, failed its one pin order test, which meant that it reversed backwards. It was like, oh my God, get out of here. It's like drove backwards. But you then... Oh, then you fired both of your, of your bombardments off, yes. didn't you? Your mortars and your medium howitzer missed both times. But then the tank did come on. And I think this is the turning point. That's where the franchise starts turning around, Simon. <laughs> so, the is it the M14? Yes, it's, only, it's 15 shots because I've not got the, uh, the, pintle. the pintle. So, three medium machine guns yeah. going in to my Tommy squad there. Moved, light cover, long range. So that will be uh, 18 inch long range if you want to double check. Yes, it certainly is. Uh, so that will be sixes to hit. I can't go down or anything, so I've just got to wear it. One. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> That's a pin. And as you've seen, all it takes is one pin. Oh, I did ambush with my uh, anti tank weapon. Totally missed. No, kill. It is a kill. And roll it again, you'll get to pick. No. no. So just remove one of the Tommies at the back. Doesn't oh. matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter too much. There we go. So that was the tank coming in, the doing tank things, coming in and absolutely murderizing one chap. Um, all right, let's see what the next dice is. I've got an ambush with my tank here. So um, I'm just going to put those guys in ambush. Your rifleman in ambush? Yeah. Okay, because you're getting the benefit of the cover there, so you might as well hold the tree line and just blat anyone that comes around at you. Very smart move. Uh, the last three are mine, are they? Well, I'll just I can um, just get them out so I can remember where I'm going. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! There's no need for that, Simon. Uh, oh, just have a little shot of the uh, of the terrain whilst I kneel down and get the dice. There we go. So, uh, officer will go down. And then Tommy Squad will um, if it will be long range, like it's down. Yeah, either way. So Tommy Squad will advance. Uh, they're just going to advance a little bit more up the riverbed again. You might be able to trigger an ambush there if you want to measure it. No. It's going to be a long twenty-four, I think. It may or you, you don't have to, you don't have to trigger it. So before you measure, you can be like. What have you got left to move? Uh, I've got my uh, my Bren carrier, but you can keep them in ambush for next. Yeah, turn. I'm just going to leave them in ambush. Yeah, that's right. So I was saying you could trigger it, but you didn't you didn't have to. Uh, I'm going to put all of these shots here into the Gultadori. So that will be uh, it'll be thirteen shots hit on sixes, followed by sixes. Um, let's see how many dice we've got here. 5, 10, 11, 13. It's quite cool seeing the Tommies like advancing up the riverbed. Uh, and then uh, 6 followed by 6 is... 3 possibles. See, going, getting out of the truck and going down. Uh, it's meant that, you know, it's not as easy for me to hit you, right? 
Oh, I got hit. <laughs> <laughs> I kill one guy. One guy killing a pin. Which is going to make your job even harder next turn. Yeah. Um, but that is that there. And then the Bren carrier uh, will is my last dice. And that will... Uh, that will just... To be fair, I can't go through the tree. So that will move and then just advance up to there. Uh, and then it will shoot also into the Kusatori. I don't really want to, but it's the only target I've got. So again, it'll be sixes followed by sixes. Nope, nothing. There you go. I think probably between 21 shots, getting one hit and a kill, probably just balance out as to being somewhat reasonable. Some statistician in the comments could let us <laughs> I don't know. know. I did 15 off sixes and then only did exactly the same. So That's true. I would suggest that it's probably more weighted in your favour there. That's true. That's true. You should have got uh, two or three hits when you fired. Yeah. But that is the turn. Now... That's in a turn three. That's the that's we're going into the second half of the game now. Um, it does. It's been rapid because of that turn one. It's definitely been a quick game. It's definitely in the favour of the British. I don't think that it's Simon is somewhat disheartened, I think, I, but I think it's it's the momentum is with us. You just the, need to kill two the, units, and then it's because I will that will then be. With my pins and minus two leadership. Because of Van Vante Savoia. Yeah, there'd be absolutely nothing I can then do yeah. at that point, I don't think. So I think what we need to see from the Italians is a flurry. <laughs> I think we... And your first left hand, so don't forget you can do snap two and pull two units if you need to. Yeah. So, I, But I think that's what we need the Italians to do. They, you need a few dice at the beginning, so you can start stacking some pins on me, which makes my return a lot harder. So that's my prediction. Well, that's my sort of analysis. But we shall see. We'll get the dice together. Can the Italians turn it around? We'll find out in turn four. Beginning of turn four, we enter into the second half of the game. Now, Simon and I had a bit of a conversation off camera. We were sort of having a little bit of a debate about what would be a good approach for the Italians to take. Because as we were picking the dice up, Simon was like, oh, well, I want to leave these guys on ambush. I want to leave those guys down so I can get my... Uh, so I can get some pins off them. But then we were like, well, do you want to go and have as many dice in the bag as possible to try and get your Hail Mary off on this flank? So you ended up picking the dice up. But then we also had a bit of a conversation of, would it be worth you actually staying down everywhere? Staying down here, giving yeah. yourself a minus three to hit and staying there because you're losing troops at a rapid rate. <laughs> and even if you rally them, they're then going to be up so they might just get cut down. Yeah. And if you pass the order here on a six... Yeah. You also be minus two with the pins. Yeah. So we had a little talk, but what you you say? What you're thinking here, Simon? Well, I, I mean, it's it, is it going to guarantee to improve the situation? No. You know, uh, even if I got three pins off, the chances are you're going to get a couple of hits. Even sixes followed by sixes, you're going to have twenty six, thirty, twenty six, thirty six shots. Yeah. Statistically, one at least one of those is going to hit. Um, that puts a pin or two on you again. Again, and then I'm back to square one. Mm. And um, yeah, I, at this point, I mean, I've got two units that aren't combat effective. Yeah, because they're shirkers. Uh, are they staying down? No, you put them. You put them up for the bag. Yeah, yeah. For the bag, yeah. So you've got what you've got. This unit which is healthy. This unit which is fanatical, but only four guys. These which are shirkers. So it's it's like you two units down anyway. Yeah, and you know, if I lose a couple of units this turn. Which is eminently possible, in all fairness. Um, Vanti Savoy kicks in. And then it's, you know, bad. such is the Italian life. So you're going here. So your thinking is, I'd rather go out in a bang and at least have given it a fucking go <laughs> than to sit back and die in the dirt. Well, no, because it's kill points. I mean, there's still three units over here I can kill. Yes. On this flank. Yeah. So we're really even, so that means then you need to kill another five to which, win. Which is tricky. At the moment you get a kill, um, actually the, the dice spider right now is I've lost one and you've lost one. So actually yeah. Vante Savoy had to kill three units. Yes. So actually you're not actually at that much risk of being Savoyed. No, but I'm certainly at the risk of losing two mm -hmm. and three if that, you know. The, yeah, and to be fair, if you don't get the... Uh, if you stay down here, you can't overwatch me, and then I could just banzai you, and I'd have... 
Yeah. I'd have fight first here and I'd have more guys. So yeah, I think you've I think it is the temptation to stay down and try and weather the storm is there. But the way of the, the Italians live fast, <laughs> die young, uh, you know, see and just see if you as you said to me off camera, sometimes you just gotta go for those Hail Marys and yeah. make those opportunities happen. That's that's the only option I've now got, to be fair. I don't think as I said I if we just played a uh, backwards and forwards, your list will beat my list any day of the week. Because I've got the more shots and rapid more fire. shots, the better quality troops. You've got better armour than me. Uh, I've got the Trixie over here, the machine gun tank. I've got it's very armoury over here, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, but that's the plan. We've okay. Keep going. I should still do the plan. Well, just because you've... Hey, look, you don't call off the attack just because you've <laughs> lost a truck... Uh, your infantry's been uh, mown down and some of them uh, aren't committed to the fight. You keep going on that attack. You see it through to the bitter end. All right. All right. right. Let's see. So that's our sort of mid-game analysis. Let's see who gets the first dice. It is the Italians. You needed that. <laughs> Where are you going? Straight for the Gustatori. Well, otherwise you're going to... Do you want me to say the line to give them a bit of luck? No. Okay. It's not really worked so far. Okay. Or the test. Six or below. Oh! Hey, but they're still down, so they're, yeah. still, they're still durable, right? They're not getting extra as much. Okay, they're, 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 they're nothing, nothing, imagine nothing gain. Next dice. Grey. Um, I don't know, I was, I was kind of focused on what the Italians were doing. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go for a... Go do my light howitzer again. Fire, and I'm going to put it into these guys, which I'm hitting on a five because they went into ambush. They didn't move. Yeah. Okay. I forgot to put the marker next yeah. to it. Uh, so f that's the pin dice. That's the shooty dice. Green dice for shooting. Five up. Uh, do you want to go down? Uh, yes, I will do. I think there's no point uh, letting you kill anything. I missed, but uh, you you are down. Okay. There you go. So. Yeah, that gives you the chance to now. That was a good call because if uh, I'd started wrecking that squad as well, truly, it's like all your infantry to start going down as a that wouldn't have been good. <laughs> okay, so you pull the next dice. Do you want to plop it in the tray of doom or or power or fate? Italian dice. Okay. Okay. What are we thinking? We are going to. Ooh. I'm going to fart my. Big gun. Big gun into these. Okay. Big gun. So if you hit three inch template, you're going to get like four, possibly five guys. <laughs> and there is, I've lost the casualty there already. So if I, I want to stay up because I want to kill them. We're going to go for it. Stay up. Brave it, lads. Brave it. <laughs> oh, my God. I thought I was like, fucking hell, man. I thought you were going to just flatten them. Oh, that would have been half a squad wipe. Pins, the whole nine yards. I was putting the dice over there so you guys know why I'm wandering over here. Oh, it's. I tell you what, man. It's It's all in my... It's. I love our action. Every dice pull is just so tense. It's another Italian! They're getting the flurry! Yeah, but I've not hit anything yet. You're getting the flurry, man! Something's got to give! Right, mortar in... Uh, no. No, no, no. Okay, okay, okay. Gonna... I could just move and wipe all of that out. Yeah. That's... Not trying to influence you. I'm yeah, just letting you know that they've not got that. any pins on them yet. Okay, so five up. Eagle one. How did I have a pin on them? I killed one of them. Did I... Pa uh, I... Passed an order test. Did no, I? No, because it was a tank. No, they have a pin on them. They have a pin. They have a pin. Okay, so does that influence your decision? Because no. I fail. No, That's you're going it. for it. Oh, the, but there's more. It's because your guys are close. They're trying not to hit them. The mortar shells landing everywhere. And it's a British dice. Okay, so. <sighs> mortars raining down on each other. I've done my artillery bombardment. I think I'm going to do another artillery bombardment back at you. Um, do you want to go down to reduce no, oh, yeah. casualties? Oh, yeah, I mean, they're just doing nothing anyway for the rest of the game. They're just going down. Yeah. Now, uh, if I get the hit here, we'll have to check the shirker rule on getting pinned out. Yeah. Okay. 
But we'll do it if I get the hit. Uh, when do you get the hit? Two plus. I do get the hit. So it'll be um, two, two hits because of rounding uh, down. Two kills. And then the pins. So it'll be two more pins. So what? We're, so let's just explain to the viewers what's happened there. So we've just killed two more Italians in that squad. Um, but because they're shirkers, they count as having double the amount of pins. Now, their normal leadership is nine. But they now, because they've got six pins, that counts as 12 pins. So what we're going to do is check if that would pin them out. Because if you get more pins than your leadership value, you run off the board. <laughs> but we're not sure if that's just for order tests or if it is for order and morale. So we'll check, we've got the rule book. We'll just check it. We'll be back in a second. So we double checked. And sadly, shirkers count as always having double the amount of pins. So that means if they have one, they count as having two. And it doesn't specify that's just for order tests. It just says they always count as having double pins. Therefore, they would count as having six pins on them. Uh, that six means they count as having 12 pins on them. That exceeds their leadership value of nine. And so they have routed and have been destroyed. <laughs> grim. Grim. So the ship, but the shirk, or the only thing that's left is the fanatics now. The people that are like, okay, we're here. Not much has really been lost, Simon. A bunch of they'll they'll be they'll be rounded up later and shot for desertion. There you go. So pull the next dice, sir. That's me again. It is an Italian dice. There you go. Well, I might as well have a go at this guy. It's Gonna go for big fire order into here. Um, so it'll be fives this time. I'm gonna have to wear it because I really want to run away with them. Uh, I might just get side down. Might get take a million pins, but we'll find out. Well, it's that worst case. I'm going to do machine guns. Yes. So you'll be hitting on fives because it's One, just. Two, two. No, I'm going to do the the thingy. So the medium AT is only a one-inch template. Oh uh, yeah, I should know. Because you're not yeah. you're not allies now, man. You don't get the good uh, medium AT. Oh, that's a good roll. Oh, I'm seeing uh, at the very least a statistical. Probably above, to be fair. Nice. Nice gunning me down in droves. Oh my god, all those hits. Forced to kill. Uh, that will be four dead. Uh, one, two, three, four. Not quite below half in one go, but you have scuppered my plan of charging the Gustadori. But uh, it's fine. You've, you've neutralised one of my units this turn. I've neutralised one of yours. We are very much going blow for blow. We'll see who will who will come out on top. Um, next dice is another Italian one. <laughs> right, uh, I'm going to try and get this guy going. Auto Blinder, can he do it? He can, hooray! So Auto Blinder coming up 12 inches. They're leapfrogging. Italian armour coming up. Uh, so that's just five shots. Uh, are you doing the machine gun? Are you doing it into the same squad here? Yeah. Ugh, that's uh, check if you with an eighteen. Yes. So it'll be fives. Uh, I'm gonna have to wear it. I really want them to run away. Oh my god, they're getting so they're getting mown down. <laughs> they're getting absolutely mown. The flank is falling. Number two. That is two. Roll that six again. No. Not the tray. Okay, do you want to pick the NCO? Yes. That's going to make things very, very tricky for me now. That counts as uh, having three pins. And when I do an order test, I'm minus one. So I'm on minus four to try and pull off my tactic. Maybe I should have gone down at the beginning, but I was wary of the uh, of the HE surprise. Uh, that's a, that's a, so it's, you see what I mean, guys? Like It looks like it's bad for the Italians, but then every time I take one of them out, they're taking one of me out. So... I think it could be turned around. We'll see. There you go. Yeah, but now you've got a bag, bag, full, bag full of dice. A big old bag of dice, eh? All right. Hmm. Right. We're going to go for... The Cusatori just sort of sat there menacingly. They can't go this turn. My anti tank rifle team's a bit of a bit of a mess right now. Uh, we are going to go for 
I wasn't in range last time, was I? So I need to go again. So we're going to go for an advance. Okay, we're going to continue to march up the riverbed, taking the fight to the damn Italian, the damn, damn, damn Italian fascists. And then we're going to unleash into your squad here. Now, do you want to go down or do you want to stay up for the rally? Uh, I'm going to go down because it's... Uh... Okay. Um, no, because you're going to be... Moved. I will be moved, long range, light colours. I'll be sixes. No, because then you've got another squad anyway, even if a rally. Now I'm going to go down. Going down, forcing the enemy down. Okay. So we're going to unleash sixes, followed by sixes, rapid fire dice. Here we go. Nothing. Didn't get any sixes at all. So I forced you down, but unfortunately I haven't done what I wanted to do. Okay. Okay, next dice. Another British, brave British dice, sir. Uh... Well, that's the dice at the moment, and I've got an officer left, so you may as well just there. Uh... Just go. Okay. Right, well, what we'll, with that bearing that in mind, what we'll do is we'll fire. Oops, sorry, I twisted it. I need to twist the turret. Can you move the dice tray for a second? I don't think I can quite see across the corner to your auto blinder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to check the line of sight here uh, because I've got to go across this corner here, you see. Do you reckon I can do it? No. Not without going across the... Move your hand one second. There. That's where I took... So I'd have to reverse. Yeah. Okay. So if I reverse, it will be move long range light cover. Okay. Well, we'll do that. So we'll go for a uh, machine gun into them. Uh, and then we'll just reverse back to... What do we go for? No, the, the, everything's down, right? Yeah, everything's down. So yeah, we will go like that. And then we'll go for the fire. Okay, so six follow. It's a, it's a six. Move, long range, light cover. That's it, just a six. Just check I'm not within 36. 36 is, is, lo is quite long. No. No. Ah, one second though. I will, I can still, I can reverse, move. I won't take the advantage of it now because I now know what the distance is, but I'll go there. Okay, so uh, because I want, I still count as being over half range of time, yeah. but just because I think that's the fair way of doing it because you can't pre-measure. I just didn't even think about it, I just reversed. So it's a six, no, <laughs> five, there you go. But I think next time I should be in half range. Uh, then the machine gun, no. Okay, nothing this turn, but we're getting ourselves set up. So what we'll do is we'll do the rest of my dice off camera and we'll be back in just a moment. The remaining British turn was rather uneventful. <laughs> a lot of DACA was fired off in every direction and yet very little was achieved more than making the Italians go duck and cover. So uh, the tank fired at the auto, Blinder uh, missed the machine gun, um, also missed the Custodori. Uh, then we had the Bren Carry here, which missed the Custodori. Then we have the Rifleman here, which missed those guys because they were down. And we had the Rifleman here, which uh, missed these guys who were down. Then the veterans came out. They missed. Bren Carrier missed. Everything missed. Yep, but we have pushed forward. And we're trying to hopefully make things happen as we go into turn five. Right now, it's two units to the uh, British and one unit to the Italians. So it's a draw. Can the British just claw ahead and get a cheeky win? We need to kill, I think, comfortably we need to kill two more units to get the win. Yeah, I would have thought so, but then you've got a couple of one-shot options at all mm. to me, so that's, mm. uh, let's see. For the first few dice is, oh, it is a British dice, and it has landed on the, uh, Italians. On the Italians. So I will have my dice, please, sir. There we go. All right, you alien bastards. Uh, <laughs> the words of my generation. Uh, Yuku Story, I've got three pins on them. I think you kill them no matter what I do. 
I'm going to fire my artillery. Okay. And the reason I'm going to fire my artillery is because they've got no pins on them. So yeah. you could just move yeah. and get rid of my hard work, yeah. which has been my bombardment coming in. Okay. Do you want to go down or do you want to stay up? Uh, oh, da, 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 da. I'm just looking at your two units coming in. I'm going for you. I'm going to stay up. Staying up? Yeah. So you're not going to... I guess it's a three next turn. And you want to be able to... You hope. need to... Otherwise, I'm just going to have two units on top of me. Yeah, okay. It's a hit. It's not what we wanted. Uh, Two-inch template. Uh, we'll say... Oh, well... Well, to be fair, that, that guy slid down, so he would be there. So uh, we get three, but that would go to two. So there we go. Uh, no, because I didn't go down. Oh, you didn't go down? Oh, right. Okay, well, then I'll, I'll take my... I'll take my three and I'll like it, sir. Uh, two ups, three dead, D3 pins, two pins. Okay. Fairly reasonable HE bombardment. I have been working on them for a number of turns. Uh, so that will now be dialed in. Uh, do you want to just kill those three? Uh, as long as it's not the MCO. It is not. Uh, no, sorry, take away some towards the officer, but make sure the officer's still within six inches of... One, two, and three. Yeah, that works. Okay, and then uh, pin dice. Dos pinos. There we go, okay. Next dice, sir. The Italians, okay. Right, if I had to come out last time, I was gonna snap two. No! Which I didn't even think about that. Which is why I stayed up. And it was 50-50 and then I would have been, right, okay. You would have been having a good time. I wouldn't say I'm having a good time, but I would have been having... A time. A time. Right. I still think, but then I, I don't want to take three dice out of the bag right now, if you can help it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my... Ooh. That's... Do my mortar. Okay, I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna try and make you work for it. <laughs> Come on. So you have hit, so you'll get uh, two of the three. Two ups. You get both, and then you put uh, D3 pins on me, and one. So that will be a leadership test for me at minus four. Plus you've lost your NCO. That's just for order tests, ah. not for morale. So it will be. A five plus. Nope, they're gone. They are gone. Yeah, I thought I, I probably should have done that last time, but I was just I was shitting my pants <laughs> over the door. <laughs> All right, there we go. So that is it's, it's it's a big the bomb. Can we just take a moment to appreciate that our bombardments have been <laughs> flying this game? Anything that I've killed anything with? Yeah, but I think I think on both sides, apart from that rifle flurry, it's just been king of battle artillery coming in. Uh, next dice, sir. I suppose that is why people take HE spam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you can understand it, to be fair. Yeah. Um, as the uh, Japanese, <laughs> you can put three light mortars in your infantry squads. That's why I don't talk to you when you talk about your Japanese. And you can take a tank, you can take a, a tank for 95 points as a light howitzer. <laughs> and then you can take a light howitzer and you can take a, a, a medium mortar. So... You could just have as much H as you possibly want. It's horrendous. Right, but speaking of which, I'm not so worried about you. Ghost of Dory! No, I am still a bit upset about them. Uh, we are going to go with the, the tank. We're going to go with the tank. It's going to fire. It's going to put the machine gun into the Ghost of Dory. Yeah. This big gun into the auto blinder. Okay. So big gun will be hit on a five. I can't go down with this armor car. Can't you I? can't. You can't. Not voluntarily. I can force you down, which makes yeah. you reverse. But yeah. um, so long range. Or do I drive forward? No, not towards the flame thrower men. Uh, <laughs> five up. On the way. No, it's a four. Got one below what I needed each time, and then. The MMG into the uh, Cusatori, up or down. It will be uh, long range light cover, so it'll be fives. I'm going to stay up. Making things happen. I need, to, yeah, I'm just. One hit, just the one. Wasn't the wasn't as bad as it could have been. 
I mean, the pin situation is less than ideal, but maybe a cheeky rally will be in order. I don't kill anyone. Tank doing nothing but a pin. That was... Could have been worse. That was kind of as good as I could have hoped to be fair. It is now I know you go on about me having the better tank, but the meta is light tanks, lots of light tanks. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right, let's us. We're going to deliberate. I am going to. Um, yeah, let me deliberate for a second. Okay, please. we're back in a moment. It's hot tank on tank action. Well, not, shooting not tank. really, not shooting my tank, but uh, Simon, you've decided that you're going to move forward with the tank a little bit, advance and turn it, and you're going to hose down my infantry here. Now, that will be moved, it'll be light cover, and it will be long range. So, I am just going to wear it. Two. Two. Two's okay. It is a pin. Will it be anything more than a pin? Ooh, ooh, can you get another six? No. no. So two Tommies have been perforated. There you go. Be a good name for a metal band, that. Uh, and that is your tank. So, next dice. Your tank did more than my tank. Uh, yeah. It's, it's, I Superior mean, it does Italian armoured core. It does what it does. It's, uh, oh. He's having a flurry. He's having a flurry. I feel, I, you know what, I'm feeling in my bones that the, the mm. pendulum is swinging back. You going for it again? Reversing. Okay, so the so the armored car is reversed and pivoted. You're now showing your rear armor to me. Yes, well, hopefully you can't get back. Oh. I mean, I can drive through stuff. I'm still hoping you can't get back. <laughs> okay. Um, do I go down now? Uh, moved, long range, light cover, five shots. Ten shots. Why ten? Because I have a rear-facing machine gun. You only fire that or the coax. You don't fire both. I'll do it. All right. Yeah. Turn <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, the rear-facing machine gun is basically the same as having a coax on machine gun. I did not know that. Yeah. There you go. Because the cope and in all fairness, the rear one is out here, mate. Yeah. And the front one's out there. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a turret. Yeah, but, but Simon... How is it curving the bullets round into that? <laughs> Let's say you say so. You say it's definitely a coax and a rear. It's yeah. not a hull and a rear. No, it's coax and a rear. Right. So then, yeah, you only fire one or the other. All oh, right. Well, there you go. Yeah. In that case, um, five shots. Five shots. I'm not going down for this because it sixes. Bugger! <laughs> oh man, I need to start using that down order. I'm being a bit ballsy. That's another one. Another one and a pin. That's not ideal. That's that's definitely uh, stifled my push slightly, as it were. I could do with a bit of just a little bit of luck swinging back my way. Okay, so you've done the you've not done the gusatori yet. No, but you've done both tanks. Yes. What you've got left over here is mega pin city and mega pin city. You're going for the rally. I've still got my... Uh, and you've got your howitzer, but that's hitting on a, a fresh yeah. roll. Um, I think we're going to go for the Bren into the Gustatory. Because it will be fives to hit. Yes. Unless you choose to go down. No. Okay. Um, hang on a second, we're two all, aren't we, in terms of units lost? Two all. In that case, I'm going to go down. Okay, that's fine. I didn't mind either way. I just wanted to stop them from rolling up a flank single-handedly. Yeah. Hang on a second. No. You made to change your mind. I've not rolled any dice uh, yet. We've got ten shots. Eight shots. And it on fives, which could be three hit, two to three hits. Killing out. It could be, could be one to two dead. Would be the result, but the pin is the big thing. Yeah, if I stay, and if I go down, it's going to be sixty followed by sixes, isn't it? Yeah. Hmm. Now this is: Do I want to try and go for the win? Oh! Which is the hail mary option? Yeah. So potentially two units over there, I reckon. Yeah. No, I'm going to go down. Okay. 
I didn't get any hits. But I would have got two if you hadn't got down. Okay, next dice. Right. It is your, it is your Here we go. go. Big boom boom. We are going to snap two. We're going to snap two. All right. So what are you snapping to? So I'm going to snap my... What have you got left to fire? One, two, three, four... Quite a lot then, basically, is what we're saying. Yeah, four more units to so fire. I'm going to snap my two... Five, six. I've got five more to yet. I've got a lot. <laughs> I've got a, a, no order dice over there. Yeah, that's right. So I'm going to snap my... Um, No, it's going to go. Oh, He's thinking. Right, they don't have to do anything out there. Right, so I'm going to put an advance order on those boys. These ones? Yeah. All right, pass the leadership test. Two so, pins, so leadership nine with the officer being his first lieutenant. Okay, advanced. they've passed it, so they've lost a pin. That means I won't be dialed in anymore. They're going to go. Going forward. I mean, they're just going to get cover on them now, aren't they? But this is a very ballsy maneuver. I like it. Well, again, I would die. Hmm. I was dialed in on you. Yeah. Actually, no. No, going backwards. I'm going backwards. Retreating. Yes. My God, sir, you will still be in the cover from where you were, so I would be able to see you. Mm, then I'm better off going down. Oh, he doesn't know what to do! Ay, 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 ay. I think you mean, Mamma Mia! <laughs> okay, I'm going to give you... Yeah, take, yeah let me have a You want to have a thing? Yeah, yeah. He's going to have a thing. It's a big turn. All right. After much deliberation and cogitation, Simon decided to fall back into the forest. Uh, because of that pin, it would have meant that it would have been very tricky for him to hit me on anything other than fives or maybe even sixes followed by sixes so he's just going to try he's moved out of his original footprint so the uh, dialing in doesn't count and uh, he's now going to unleash a barrage of rifle fire into my veterans sixes followed by sixes two possibles no oh. no not quite and then your other snap two was your officer who's hidden out of line of sight and your third snap two uh, was the medium howitzer, which you're going to put into my Bren carrier here. Now, am I? Are you, though? Mm. Mm. No, I'm going to put it into your mortar team. Uh, you probably can see the mortar team. It'll be true line of sight, so just see if you can get down and actually see them. Yeah. Okay, so you go for a bit of counter-battery fire. Uh, do I go? No, 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 it's fine. I'll, I'll wear it. Oh. oh, it's not on the tray. Oh, so, oh no. there you go. Okay. Okay. Well, there you go. So that's That okay. was your turn. I shall give you the bag, sir. I don't think I've got anything left. I fucking hope not. That was, that was a really good turnaround for the Italians. It's my lacklustre end of my turn. I think I've got one unit that's going to go down the minute you targeted them. Which, that, which one's that? Oh, them. Okay, so we'll do the rest of the British turn off camera. Yeah. Um, because I need to have a little think about how I want to counter and we'll be back if there's anything big. All righty ho ho, end of turn five. Okay. Wow, spicy turn. We ended up doing a bit of damage. The British did a lot of shooting off camera. We ended up whittling this squad down to just four people, but it was a bit at a time, so you never had to take a morale test. We have got four pins on them. The final Italian unit did... Uh, rally three pins off, but it's still pretty combat and effective on, on three pins. My unit here, after getting lit up, unfortunately failed their order test. And the Gustatori were forced to uh, go down. They did endure uh, a pin, but that was about it. So right now, the British have got more units that I would say are intact. <laughs> but... I need a little... Um, dial in marker here let me not forget there we go right now the british have got more units that are intact because the italians are down to four man shattered unit four man shattered unit to see my shot up not them 
Oh, did you go for the more? Ah, you are right. Sorry, you did. I thought you went. Yeah, you went over here instead. There we go. All right. So uh, the Italians are definitely, they have bent, but they have not broken. We're going into turn six now. Potentially the last turn of the game. Simon, Simon wants it to be the last turn. Uh, if, if, I, if I manage to finally clean up a few of these units... Might have a chance, but at the moment, is it two units to two? Two all. Yeah. Two all. All right. Let's see what happens. We'll go into the we'll go into the final potentially final turn of the game. Simon, pick the first dice. It is a British one. No, I'm not dialed in anywhere. Apart from the Custatori. I think that's where it's gotta be. What else would I be what else would I do? You've got four pins and three pins. But that's... The veteran's going to assault you. That would clear you off. And I have got... Um, ooh, am I within 12 there? I am not within 12 there. Nope. I can't assault you here because I'm in the forest still. So yes, I can't assault you there. But I could murderize you um which would allow me uh, if if i don't murderize you you'll um you'll run behind the uh, behind the hill okay so we're going to go for an advance with the veterans actually am i within 12 then no my 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 japanese instinct is telling me i'm i'm not no it would be if I was, I'd be on the very, very edge. I don't think I can assault over the over the wall anyway. Yeah. So we'll 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 not risk it. I think I can't. I'm ninety nine percent certain I can't assault. I can assault. I can assault a wall. I can't assault over a wall. So we'll move over six inches to there. I think I actually would have been within twelve, you know, but I don't think I can assault over a wall. I think it's too difficult to uh, to hop the wall and and charge. Now I will be. I am, I would have been in charge range, so I am in point blank there. Do you want to go down? So you're going to be hitting on threes, but then? I will be hitting on twos, but with light cover, I'll be hitting on threes. Right, so you're SMGs, aren't you? Yeah. Uh, how many shots have you got? Six from the vetra, from the SMGs and two from the rifles. The rifles will be hit on fours. Uh, Are you coming to watch the proceedings? It's very exciting. Don't step on the men, I'm though. Gonna, I'm going to go down. You're going down. Yeah. Okay, okay. So that means I'll be hitting you on fives with the SMGs and sixes with the rifles. Okay. All right, men. You are veterans. Come on. You can do this. Two hits. That was a good call. I would have definitely got a few more hits there. Now, I'd like a, a couple of kills, please. <laughs> One kill. And it is not the sergeant. One kill. Then I've got two rifles hit on sixes. I don't hit. Okay, you're down to three men. Oh, you're down to three men, man. You need my down dice. I need your down dice. So uh, I'll take this guy away here. He's the nearest. Oh, yeah. That's your pin. The, uh, the cat did knock over all the trees, but that's okay. And a down dice, sir. Oh, there we go. So you are now down. All right. All right. That was a uh, potential to... That's got a dice out of the bag for you. Potential for me to wipe you. Not quite done it yet. It is another British dice. So now that you're down there... Cats everywhere. Cats everywhere. Yeah, we've got double cat going on here. I think the... Call is to the Gustadori aren't in a position to actually kill a unit this turn. Mm, unlikely, no. Because they, he doesn't count, he's just a spotter. I've got rifles in there, I could go for your. Uh... Oh, you could go for him. You could go for him. Mm. We're going to fire the mortar at the Gustadori. The Gustadori will be going down. I thought they might, yeah. So that's, that has protected him in many ways. Um, so that will be a fire. I will be hitting on a five. <laughs> will the vast bullshit luck kick in? No! 
Mortar shells raining down on them. Next, so every dice, I'm pulling a dice. I'm pulling one of yours out of the bag by forcing you to go down. Um, okay, okay, okay. What are you? You could flatten my mortar, but I can't do much about that right now. My tank can't see your uh, no. your your car anymore, can it? No. Damn. Okay, so the tank. Okay, what we're gonna do? We're gonna grab a tape measure. Nine inches. So we are going to turn and drive precisely. That tree is in the way. I'm just gonna run it over. Pff, bit of woods. Drive precisely, being a medium tank, that's totally okay. Drive precisely to there. I've got half an inch further. And then I think I can see your auto blinder. Yeah. There you go. So I'm gonna shoot it. So we moved, long range, light cover. Sixes. Just double check I'm within 36. Just because if I am, it will just be moved. It, and uh, and no, like, you're, you're in 36. I'm within 36, right, that's it. Uh, me, no, 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 30 inches. Okay, I'm more than 30. Sorry to get you to check. A medium AT gun is 30 inch range, a heavy is 72. Getting my Germans mixed up from the tip of my barrel there. Yeah, you are. Easy. So I'm in. Okay, so it's a five. Machine gun will go to the Gustatori. <sighs> no, it's a six and it rolled over onto a two. No, no. Oh. Damn these one shot weapons. All right, machine gun. Nothing. I need six four by sixes. Oh, baby. It is an Italian dice, sir. Oh, it's a spicy turn, man. Cromwell has been threatening, but he's not done anything. No, I guess he's, that's... he's looked intimidatingly at you. Uh, right. Deliberations, or do you know what you're doing? Uh, let's go with, well, there's not really much over there now. He's shot, isn't it? So let's do, I'm going to drop the mortar. Uh, the howitzer? Howitzer. Okay, I can't do anything about it, so just roll. So oh. one. The bombardments have cooled off slightly after being very, very spicy on the early turns. That's fine over there. It is you. Desire again. Right. I'm saving him, because if you go after him, I'm going to go down with him. Yeah. If you don't go after him, I'll shoot one of your tanks. Which probably won't do anything, but it might do. It's a bit of a Hail Mary, as it were. Um, I think the only true choice... I need to fire the Bren first. So I can just sneak that guy. And then I can... Shoot them afterwards. Yeah, so Bren first. They're... Are they down? Yeah. <sighs> Be long range, like of a down. It's not ideal, to say the least. Don't think it'll do anything. But I'd better do that one first. Yeah, yeah, still better do that one first. Anyway, Howitz has not been. Howitzer has not been. <laughs> oh, it's one of them turns, man, where it could go either way. So don't worry about him. He's been saving him. Don't worry about him. They have already got a few. They're low priority this time. They want to shoot. They want to shoot. They want to shoot. So out of those three, they're going to... If I shoot them, you'll just go down with them. Uh, and if I shoot... They've got three guys left in them. So the plan is here. It doesn't even... I don't know if it even matters. So the Bren guy wants to shoot first out of these. Okay? And he's going to fire his four shots into the squad that's down. It's gonna be potentially long range, but we'll check. Oh shit. Oh. I had to open a tape measure with my mouth, not ideal. So it is, oh, it is. It is long range. Okay, so it'll be 
Sixes, sixes followed by sixes, because, uh, oh no, long range, light cover, down. down. Two possibles. Come on, I've been fishing for fucking possibles all fucking day, man. <laughs> all fucking day, bro. No! Oh. Damn your eyes. <laughs> all right, next dice. It's tense. So the grey one. Okay, so now the next grey dice is going to be the howitzer. And the howitzer is going we're trying we we could go over no, we could go after your tanks, but we'd need a six to hit anyway. And then we need it's not likely. What's likely is for us to get this unit. So we'll go for them. Fire, needing a six. Uh, you're already down. Yeah, so that's the plan. Okay, so needing a six. <sighs> no, again, not quite. Not quite. Tis I. Tis you. Right. Bling, bling truck. Okay, so you're going for your tank over here. Into them, so they shouldn't have cover now. Uh, they're, they're in the stream still, aren't they? They're still in the stream. They're going to have cover. I'm going to go down. Yeah. So six followed by sixes. I don't know if it's going to... I think it's turn seven as well. It's going to matter. More than anything else. But we'll see. Oh. Four. That's a good job you went down. Four possibles. Otherwise you would have got me. Just roll them into the corner if you want. Yeah, that's fine. There we go. Nope. No, that's what I've been feeling all game, man. You've been going down like a boss. Next well, dice, sir. That's all I've been doing for the last few turns. I think you just there. Uh... Where did I put my horse there? Grey dice. Okay, so I've done my two over there. So my last one. Uh, they've gone down, so I need dice at the back. Uh, they've gone down, so I need dice at the back. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, these are going to go for an advance um, because they want to get out of the forest and hopefully set up for next turn. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to advance them out uh, six inches. See if we can... Whoa. There we go. Because I won't, don't think I need cover from the stuff that's over here so much. And I can get it to point blank range then. And I'm going to go over here. There we are. So yeah, literally right into your face. Like that. I won't have cover, but if you get the first dice of me, I can just go down. <laughs> I'm about to do now. You're about to do now. Okay. That's another one out for me. Yeah, that's fair. Okay, so that's where I'm going to end up. Ten blokes in the squad, thirteen that's shots. Down and the fire for the. Uh... So fire. Yeah. And then down. Okay, now let me just check. So five blokes will be in point blank. Five will not. So the f the extra shots will come from the guys that are in point blank. So it'll be move point. Uh, it'll be. Uh, Move versus point blank cancels out, and then it'll be down, so I'll be on fives. Okay. Um, so it's five shots plus the three rifle shots. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Just two. Might be enough. If I can get two kills here, and then you can fail a leadership test, I'll be the unit gone. It is two kills. Hang on a second, though. Hang on a second. So that's two kills and a pin. Five regular shots. These will be hitting on sixes. I've got two hits. <laughs> no kills. Damn, could you be inexperienced? So that would be minus four to your leadership. Yeah. And Fnatic's doesn't make any difference, does it? It does. Ah. You're not down to the last man. 
You're down for the last two men, so you're still around. Okay. Damn the fanatics! Damn them! Ah, oh, I guess you want the ones that are nearest, so. Uh... Oh, Ah, oh, Fnatic saving your uh, ass! Leave the, uh, oh, no, I'm not going to be doing any orders with them anyway. You're just um, going down with them anyway? Yeah. Okay. We can just say the sergeant's one of the last guys in there, it's okay. You again? What do I even have left? Is it just this bread? I think it's just this bread and my officer. Uh, you've got four dice left. Four dice, really? You've got him. Oh, I've got him. The officer. Yeah, the okay. Carrier. And a spotter. What else have you got? So I'll go on ambush here. Mm, yeah, because you'd have to move your... I mean, even if you kill him, it's still going to be... And it game ends, it's going to be a draw. Mm -hmm. And what have you got left? Uh, I've got my mortar. Oh, that could be spicy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so we're going to go for uh, my Bren. It's going to go for a fire. And it's going to go for a... Uh, eight shots into your gustatory. One uh, possible. Uh, what am I hitting on? Just down like cover. Yeah, down like uh, down like cover. Long range. Check I'm, if I'm over eighteen. I think I am. Yeah. Yeah. So I need another another try. No, not quite. The old college try, but not quite. All right. Next uh, dice. We're doing the full turn on camera. This one's a spicy one. Uh, realistically. Uh, I've got three dice left that I'm saving my, um, yeah, he's just going to go for a, uh, a down here. There you go. Uh, right, I'm going to put my officer down. Cool. Next one for you, mortar maybe? or Yeah, let's do the mortar onto, let's do it, ooh, let's do it onto... Ah. Onto my carrier. Yeah. Okay, needing a six. Oh! oh! <laughs> Heart was in my mouth, man. I thought that was six. Uh, then that's my last one. And it's so, the auto blinder. So I'm just going to shoot it now because it's going to be twos followed by six is followed by six. Twos followed by twos. Oh yeah. my god. <laughs> okay. Nope. Nope. And then my last dice, I'm guessing. I've got my officer down. Yeah. And I've got three left, though. Officer, him. I don't know what else you've got. Have we not taken a dice out? Maybe? Mm, don't. Well, I don't think I've got anything else. Yeah. So, officer okay. and him. Uh, so, he will shoot into the auto blender. Uh, long range, light cover, man down. Not on the tray. No. And the officer goes down. And then whatever my last thing would be, I don't think yeah. it's anything. And we'll check the dice to make sure I've not had an extra one in when I shouldn't have done... I think that's everything. So, all right. So, give me a second. We'll take stock of the field, and then we'll see if we get that last turn. All righty, ho ho. Well, well, welly, Wellington. We find ourselves at the end of turn six. This is how the board looks right now. The Italians are hard pressed on the right flank with two squads left, with only. Five men between them, although the officer and the howitzer is safe. British pressing in on them. The British left is looking pretty strong. The centre is doing what it does. And the right over here definitely is struggling. So it seems like we've almost had a little bit of a swing. The current score is two dead Italian units and two dead British units. I have lost my medium machine gun team and I have lost a big 10-man rifle squad. Simon has lost a 10-man shirker squad <laughs> and has also lost his truck. We now need to see if we have a turn 7. On a 1 to a 3, we do not have a turn 7. On a 4, 5, or 6, the game goes on. If the game goes on, it could... The British are in a very favourable position to pull it ahead. Yeah, I think so. But we'll see. Simon, you have the casino dice. We have the dice tray. Let's see what we get. It ends! It ends! He's doing, doing a victory dance. There we go. He's doing his victory dance. Well, you know what, Simon? Very, very, very good game. I could feel it in my bones that it was going to end then. And I just, just as dusk falls on the battlefield, the Italians have managed to hold on 
long enough, delayed the Allied advance long enough for and inflict, inflict enough casualties for the Allied advance to be counted as a draw. They've held on. They've done what the Italians do. They've held the line. So it will be a draw mm, somehow. Somehow. Well, you it's know what? Only what you do to me. So it's quite nice doing it back to you. Yeah. Yeah. True. <laughs> true. Well, I'll tell you what. We'll, we'll clear the dice, we'll get a couple of our favourite units out for the camera, and then we'll have some final thoughts. Well, what an absolutely fantastic game. Such a turnaround for the Italians. It did not look good for you at the end of turn two, but Simon, somehow, through the skin of your teeth, you were able to pull back a draw. Somehow, yeah. Wow. How did you feel about that game? Uh, I, to be fair, I think for the last couple of turns, it was just keep your head down, let the dice game away, and uh, yeah. hopefully chip. I was hoping if we could just chip a unit off somewhere, I was like, I don't think you're going to get three as quickly. Up no. There. And certainly if we could chip two off, I thought there's no way you're getting four as quickly as you need to. Yeah. Um, but the army swingeth for the Italians. Yeah. But, uh, the... The uh, the shirkers had killed me, and then I got two fanatics. If uh, they were regulars, they'd have been gone. I think. That if have... just one of those units yeah. had been regular, you would have um, you wouldn't have been able to fall back onto your fanatics. Yeah, you would have had too many pins, and it could have easily been a yeah. See you later. Was well, a good night, CR or whatever it is. But um, yeah, I think for me it was just so nice playing game by action. Every single time I play it, I just go. I just come away with it, just, just thinking, <laughs> wow, just just so so much fun. And I think the two armies um, ended up being surprisingly uh, well balanced against each other. Um, we both had a couple of bits of artillery. Yeah. We both had three big squads, which I think after the your fanatic shirker rolls ended up being about equals peak rolls. Uh, the advantage I had was with the big tank, but then in the end, I feel like the two lighter tanks ended up doing more. No, you can play around it. Um, I mean, certainly if you've got some line of sight blocking terrain. Which helps, which we yeah, did, yeah. I mean, like I said, when I, when I played against the Soviets at uh, one of your events, it was, you know, didn't, I just ignored the tank. Yeah. You know, it was just kept firing at one unit and they kept going down and they kept missing. And, yeah. You know, it doesn't... So you, you can see why some of the uh, the, 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 the uh, armour pieces can do nothing. Mm. Um, I mean, I love the Cromwell. I've got a Cromwell for my British Airborne. Yeah. I mean, it's a gun and it's one machine gun, is it? Or two if you've got the coax. Or... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It just feels right bringing a medium <laughs> tank, though. I always, I always say it feels, it feels nice bringing a medium tank, and I think that might be my. I think that's my Cromwell's first outing. Is it really? Yeah, I always use the Sherman. Mm. I don't know why. Uh, I think I always feel like Shermans in the desert were more of a thing. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think the Cromwell turned up later. I might need a Lee or something. Yeah, yeah. I do need a Lee. The Bane, the Bane Blade of Bot Action, the <laughs> Lee. Um, with that, I've actually, you've met, um, shout out to Alex Wargamer, you've met uh, Alex at the Bot Action events. Run, yeah. And he, uh, every single Bot Action event I run, he always brings a big tank. And the last <laughs> one he turned up with, right, it was, I don't know what it was. Someone in the comment section will be able to tell us. It was like a, a T28 or T35. So it was massive, but it was interwar. Oh, bloody hell. Because <laughs> we, were, we were playing early, we were playing early war, so it was interwar. And it had like a light, it had like this big turret on it, but it was only a light howitzer. And then it had like these, it had like two machine gun turrets on it as well. Oh, God. I know the one you You know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah. And I was like, oh man, that's, in and then it got into a fight with a Panzer, th with like a <laughs> early war Panzer three. And I was like, oh, you're going to smash that. And he went, no, I went, I went, how are you not going to smash it? And he went, because it's a light tank. And he went, no, I know the Panzer three is light tank. And he went, no, 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 my T, whatever it is, is a light tank. I went, how is something that is the biggest tank I've seen outside of a Tiger in full action, like a light vehicle? And he went, because it's just, it's into war. It's got. It's crap. It's crap. So <laughs> it, was, it was a really, it, he always brings the, the, the big tanks. And I do have to say, I do like medium, big tank, and big tanks in my action. And I think if we were to do our next game, I think it would be your turn to use the, the bridge. You do use the airborne. I'll bring, the, bring the Paris. And I'll bring the Tiger. Yeah. Because I think that's very market garden. <laughs> Paris versus Tiger. But, um, but yeah, I, I really enjoyed that. And every single time I play against the Italians, 
It is a bit of a meme to be like, they're not very good. Yeah. But you've always done well with them. I, but yeah, I, I mean, you have to play them away. That's, you can't just sit across the board and try and trade blows. No. It doesn't work like that. So it, it is, you know, look, I'm going to drive my truck up and it might work. And if it works, I mean, if that had worked, it would have been... Massive. Yeah, not massive. It wouldn't have been like, there you go, game over. But all of a sudden on, on your right flank, I've got a squad burning stuff. I've got... Uh, uh, a tank putting out 15 machine gun shots. I've got another, you know, armoured car running round. Um, you know, you yeah, you've got your... You know, I've got a defensive position on the left. That's You can't just trade blows. You, you have to try and play round. You've got to make things happen. Yeah. You've got to make the opportunities happen. So you do have to do. And, you know, sometimes it works. And other times you shirk. Cause, I mean... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think... Um, yeah, I think I just love how flavorful the rules are. And uh, it's one of the things that I'm looking forward to when I get my Italians are looking for some of the rules that are in like Tough Gut and some of the rules that are going to be in Case Blue, some of the books that are coming out for uh, for bar action. And yeah, but I've always I've always found that Italians are an army that are easy to underestimate. <laughs> and yet I have seen plenty of people uh, perform well with them. I've always gone wrong, yeah. I, I, strange enough, I think I do better with them than I do my paras. Uh, mm. I think it's because at the end of the day, in a weird sort of way, my um, because you don't have those big flashy tanks, you tend to focus on the infantry. And at the end of the day, by action is an infantryman's game. They've got tools to deal with infantry. You know, the T14, you, you know, all joking aside, and you can run with 20 tank. machine gun shots. Yeah, I mean, it's tasty. <laughs> you know, if you catch a twenty-man squad and you, you know, you can be hitting on four or fives on mm. that, tw- you know, on a ten-man squad, all of a sudden that's going to do some serious damage. Have you ever thought about running the Semavente, the assault gun? Yeah, no. no. Is it? I, it's a medium howitzer, or is it? Or something? Yeah, yeah. It's quite a nice model, actually. I wish I'd uh, not glued that on. To be fair, it's just an excuse to get another one, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> uh, maybe when I get my. Uh, me me uh, feathered guys Bas- Basagliari yeah yeah the, the funny running jumping men yeah and, uh, <laughs> and I, want, I want some of the commandos as well the uh, the new interwar ones yeah the, uh, what are they called the something X commander oh do you mean um, Italian commandos yeah do you mean like is it like the X or something yeah they're the bad boys the RDT yeah they were the famous regiment from World War 1 that they brought them forward into World War Two as well, bit of a esprit de corps going on there. And they've got they've got they've got um, they've got models out for them as well. Now, yeah, yeah, they do. Um, so yeah, it'd be nice to have. You know, I've still got two armies sat there doing nothing at the moment. I need to get out of the box and paint. Yeah, you've got your winter German because Simon's a tournament player. He <laughs> won a winter German boxer and he won a uh, American para army at the tournaments that we ran. Yeah. So very interesting. People took pity on me taking Italians to a tournament. I think it's yeah. because you got best painted, didn't you? No, it wasn't best painted. Christ, it's coolest like, army. Coolest army. Coolest army. Oh, because you're the only one who took the Italians at the, <laughs> the Italian <laughs> team tournament. And, uh, most sporting randomly. <laughs> they don't, clearly they don't know you. <laughs> oh. Well, you know what, Simon? Uh, this has got me completely jazzed for uh, another game. It, it just I feel like this was a really good example of bot action. It started off with some big hammer blows coming in. Uh, both sides had an f- initial flurry. And then it just showed that with some clever play, even when you're on the ropes, if you stick to your guns, grit your teeth and play the mission... You can snatch a draw from the jaws of defeat. Yeah, it is easier to, to, to if you play for the draw. I think you mm. can, you can, if you, if you recognise it early enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, next time I think either I'm going to use my Germans and yes. you can use powers, or we could do something spicy and you could use my uh, you could use my Germans if you want to try out the winter Germans before you uh, try before you build well, I've got a while, before, while to do that yeah yeah fair <laughs> enough fair enough alright but uh, hope you guys enjoyed this game I thought it was uh, a ton of fun but let us know what you think down in the comment section below and let us know what armies you would like to see face off I think between Simon and myself we've probably got all of the major factions at least yeah sorted out so if you've got some ideas you want to see Japanese versus Italians 
That would be horrendous, but if you want to see it, <laughs> let us know. I uh, should be involved in that one as the Italian. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, let us know what you think down in the comment section. If you have enjoyed the video, please consider smashing that like button. And of course, if you want to see more bot action content, we do regular videos every Wednesday, battle reports at least uh, once a month. Uh, make sure you subscribe to never miss one of those. Last but certainly not least, I want to say a big thank you to all of the current channel members and patrons. Thanks to the channel members and the patrons that we are able to do the game systems like by action and not just have to focus on things like 40k and it really is just the lifeblood of the channel. And if you have very much enjoyed today's video, you want to support us, see more content like this and go the extra mile, support the channel, then please consider becoming a channel member or Patreon supporter. But that's all for now. Thank you for watching. And of course, as always, see you guys next time.